completely different in this country. Have you heard Father people Christmas. call Father Christmas? Father Christmas, that's right. So some people call him Santa Claus, but more often our, our children in our country call him Father Christmas. Oh, okay. So his name's Father Christmas. Um, Brady, ask your question about Father Christmas. How does Father Christmas bring you presents? How does Father Christmas bring you presents? Well, he brings the presents to us on a sleigh with his reindeer, uh, and then he lands on our roofs, and he comes down the chimney. Is it the same way you are? Yes, that's what Santa does. Yeah. Okay, and we have one more question. Carly, ask your question. Just a second, ask one more time, Carly, nice and loud. What does the Queen do on Christmas? I think she does pretty much the same as the rest of us, but she has a very, very important job on Christmas Day. Do you know what that is? No. no. So the Queen does a speech, and they, they call it the Queen's speech, and she comes on our television every Christmas, on Christmas Day, and she comes on television and she does a video for us, and she speaks to the whole country and tells us all about things that have happened and how she feels and, and shares things with us. Great. Every year on Christmas Day. Brady, do you want to stay back and ask him one of our questions? Okay, Brady. Say hi. Say hi, Grace. Hi, Drew. Hi. Hello. Ask him what you put lights on your house. Um, we do. Some people put a lot, a lot of lights on their houses, and we have people that put lights on their lawns and on their garages and on their cars. Why could you hear? Um, we have lights everywhere, and we have lights in the house on the Christmas tree. Do you put lights in your Christmas yeah. tree? Yeah. Yeah, so we, we have lights everywhere, and lots of flashing lights, and in the last couple of years, lots of people have put blue lights on things, so oh. everything's blue at the moment. Can we say hi? Can we say hi? Hello. We, we get our Christmas presents on the morning of Christmas morning, so... Yeah. Is that is that different to, to where you are? Yes. So when do you open your Christmas presents? No, we open them on Christmas, Christmas morning. morning. Mm -hmm. On Christmas morning. Yeah. So when, when our children come down the stairs in the morning, they find all the presents underneath the Christmas tree. And they find they leave uh, usually a biscuit and some milk uh, for Father Christmas. Oh, Graham, what's a biscuit? A biscuit. It's uh, like a cookie. A I cookie. Guess. Okay, <laughs> cookies and milk. Yeah. So cookie, cookies and milk, and we always leave a, a carrot out as well. For the reindeer. Oh, a carrot for, for the, the reindeer. reindeer. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We do that too. We do that too. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. Oh, sorry. One more question. One more question. Okay. Um, Noah, stand up. Do you want to ask him a question, or are you embarrassed? Say hi, Graham. Say hi, Graham. Oh, nice and loud. Hi, Noah. Ask him what they eat for Christmas lunch. What do you eat Christmas for Christmas dinner. lunch? Yeah, for so, lunch. Uh, Christmas lunch over here is pretty much always the same. So we have uh, a turkey, uh, a roast dinner. So we have you know potatoes and vegetables and a turkey and gravy, and we have cranberry sauce. Do you have cranberry sauce? Yeah. yeah. So we have cranberry sauce, and then we have for dessert we have Christmas pudding. Do you have Christmas pudding? No. Uh, what kind Christmas, of, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not quite sure what's in it, but we set fire to it. Whoa, so sorry. when we have our Christmas pudding, when, when we bring it to the table, we put um, alcohol on it. We set fire to it. So we bring it to the table, there's flames coming off it. And then you have to wait for the flames to go away before you can eat it. But we call it Christmas pudding. I'm really not sure what's in it. Um, I have a question. So what do you do with the letter? Do you... Do your kids write letters to your Father Christmas? They do, they do. Uh, we uh, write them on paper and then we burn them. So when we burn them, we put them on the fire. And of course, Father Christmas comes down the chimney. So we think that when we put the letters on the fire, the smoke goes up the chimney, goes to Father Christmas, and he gets our letters and knows whether everybody's been good or naughty or what they want for Christmas and all, all those details. But more recently, our students and our children have been putting letters on the internet. Oh. Have any of you guys put letters on the internet? No. 
<laughs> so, so we put them on the internet, and then he actually writes back if you put it on the internet. There's, there's a website where you can write to Father Christmas on the internet. And you can watch. We we have a um, we watch a computer program where we can see where Father Christmas is. Have you done that one? No, we haven't. No, so if you do a search for it, you can actually watch on Christmas Eve. You can watch a, a map of the world. I think it might be Google or something like that. And you can actually see Father Christmas in his sleigh going around the world. Wow. So you find out exactly where he is and when. Hi there. So where does Father Christmas live? Where does Father Christmas live? I think he lives in the North Pole. Yes! Is that true? Yes. I think he lives in the North Pole. Yes, he does! <laughs> we don't know. Never true. Didn't know. I don't know. Thank you for Sorry, I missed that, that question. Does, does the elves come to visit to see the kids? They don't. We, we don't have elves come and visit the children. We, we only have Father Christmas. Oh, that's so is that, that, is is that something that happens over there? Yeah, yeah, over here we have elves that will come to your house and visit and watch. Yeah. And oh, wow. Like now. And they, they kind of get in trouble sometimes. And then they report to Santa how you're behaving. Oh, yeah. I see. We, we don't have, we have elves. elves. Oh. Yes. You must yeah. be very special. We have an elf in our room. Yeah. What, they're now? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yes, they come They come the first day um, after Thanksgiving. Yeah. Uh, see, well, that's the difference because we don't have Thanksgiving. Oh. Oh, oh they don't. They don't. We didn't no, think so. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't think of that. <laughs> we know about Thanksgiving because we see it on the television all the time on films and things like that. We don't do Thanksgiving, so we don't have it in this country. So maybe that's why the elves don't come. Maybe. maybe that's Can you think of any other traditions that you have in England? Uh, we have. Uh, do you have crackers? No. You have crackers on your on your table at Christmas, and you pull the crackers. No, no, they're thinking of the crackers like the bread that you that you eat. Ah, no. We have we have this thing. Um, how do I describe it? It's like it's like a tube, and each person at the dinner table that got on Christmas Day, they grab a hold of each end of the tube and they pull it, and it goes bang, and then there's a, a present inside. So when you're having your lunch on Christmas Day, you get a present out of the cracker. Oh. So you don't have crackers? No. no. We don't have crackers. Oh. Maybe we should make some. Maybe you make them or do you buy them? Well, we, we buy them in this country, but you can make, make your own. If you we, if There's a very good way of doing it where you take rolls of card and you wrap them in um, wrapping paper like you know, around your presents and then you spin them at both ends. Okay. You fill it with the present, but usually the presents are things like rings or jewellery or... Uh, measuring tapes or anything like that. Little small presents that you have at, at lunch. And then in the crackers as well, we have jokes. Okay. So yes. everybody can tell each other a joke at the Christmas dinner table. No, we just read them out. They're in our crackers. Oh, they're in a cracker. Yeah. And we wear, we, we wear hats at Christmas dinner. Do you wear hats? Yes! No, not hats. No, well, when you when you open a cracker, it has a joke and it has a present and it has a paper hat like a crown. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I have okay. That too. okay. Cool. So you don't wear hats at Christmas dinner? No. Oh no, that's the best bit. That's the fun bit. You should all make a hat for Christmas dinner this year, I think. And you said it's like a crown. Yeah, yeah it's a it's a paper crown that everybody has to wear, all different colours. Okay. Mrs. Hartman, we might need to make. Yes, we may need to make those for everyone. I'll have to send you some pictures. Yes, oh, yeah. yes. Well, that would be great. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have um, any more questions? I can't think of any other know. questions. Oh, do you wait. have any I questions for us? I don't, I'm interested by, by what you do for Christmas, because it sounds like you do a few a few different things. What do you do during your Christmas day? So, are you, what time do you open your presents? First thing in the morning? Yeah. Yes. 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 Yes.
presents. Who Ryder, brings tell him who brings the presents. Who brings the presents? Oh, now tell him. Who, who brings, brings them to your house? The Santa Claus. Santa Claus brings them on Christmas you, Eve. Do you have stockings on the end of your bed? We have yes. stockings on the chimney. Yes. On the chimney? Well, yes. see, there's another difference, because we put our stockings on the end of our beds. Oh. Father Christmas fills the stockings up on the end of our beds. We don't put them over our fireplaces. Oh, so they they put theirs on the end of their bed. And then we usually have a big Christmas lunch, and we have ham instead of turkey. Ah, see, no, we always have turkey. Yeah, we have we have turkey on Thanksgiving, and then we have ham on Christmas. So Thanksgiving makes a big difference to yes. Christmas. Yes. Brady has one more question. Uh, okay, Brady on. has one Stay more question. Nice and loud. Do you have any phones or iPads there? <laughs> any phones or iPads? Yes. I'm, I'm actually talking to you through through one now. So we, we have exactly the same as you, I think, with, with iPads and, and phones. But I do know that when the new ones come out, you get them first. So when the new ones come out, you get all the new ones. And then we get them a couple of months after you. But it's the same with films. So you get to watch all the new films before we do, because we don't get to see them until you've seen them. Oh, we may need to give him some ideas of good movies. Yes, we'll have to give you a movie review. Yes. <laughs> well, I have a little boy who's six, so if you've got any ideas for good movies, oh, you can Okay. Inside out. Can you tell us what he wants for from Father Christmas this year? Oh, he wants lots of things from Father <laughs> Christmas this year. And he's been very good, so he's he wants He wants, um, I think he wants a scooter, uh, and he wants a phone, but because he's six, I'm not so sure that, that Father Christmas will bring him one. He does have a, a, an iPod, so it's very similar to a phone. So, Liam, does Father Christmas bring all the presents? Or does he just bring like a one big present plus your stocking? It's it's he brings the stocking in the morning. So when the children wake up, the first thing they see is the stocking, and then what usually happens is the children grab the stockings and they rush through to their parents' bedroom and they sit on the parents' bed and open the stocking and there's lots and lots of little presents that are all individually wrapped inside the stocking, and then they go downstairs and under the Christmas tree there will be presents from Father Christmas, and then. There's yeah one big one from Father Christmas, and then there's a present from other people in the family. So we buy as as my son's parents, we we buy him presents, and then Father Christmas gets him a present, and then his grandparents get him a present. So he gets lots and lots and lots of presents, but one from Father Christmas. Okay, so that's like one. Otherwise, he wouldn't fit them in his sleigh, would he? No. Too many. Too many. Do we want to sing him a Christmas song from? Yeah, Rudolph. Rudolph, you want to sing him Rudolph? No. Have you ready? I do, but I'm afraid I don't know the words. You don't know the song? Do you want okay. us to sing it for you? we can sing it for you. That would be lovely. Are you ready? Are you ready? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Had a very shiny Bye-bye. Can you tell him Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas!